one of the most brilliant minds in history facing a difficult question. Would Alexander still be the great today? Or would he crumble in mediocrity amongst chaos of modern world? Witness the tale of a boy who carved history's path within the span of a single lifetime. By the age of 30, he had conquered an empire that stretched from Greece to Egypt, across the Middle East and into India. This empire was a doing of one man, destined for greatness since day one. Tutored by Aristotle, guided by King Philip to be the best there ever was, Alexander was simply great. He conquered vast territories, including the Persian Empire at a remarkably young age. His victories in battles like Granicus, Issus and Gaugamela solidified his reputation as a brilliant military leader. Alexander had a grand vision of creating a unified empire that bridged diverse cultures. He was not just a conqueror but also a thinker, influenced by the teachings of Aristotle. His deep understanding of philosophy and the human condition set him apart from the beginning. Alexander was once told by his mother that he is son of Zeus. This shaped his life in many ways, his unquenchable thirst for conquest inspired by the thought of being a god. Godlike was the fact that he never lost a single battle in his lifetime. But arrogance was inevitable. There is a legend that Alexander encountered an intricate knot in Gordium, prophesied to be untangled only by a future ruler of Asia. When he failed to do it, he solved it by cutting it with his sword, demonstrating his willingness to go beyond in pursuit of his goals. Alexander admired the legendary warrior Achilles and saw himself as his heir. He sought to emulate Achilles' bravery and valor, carrying the Iliad with him, annotated by Aristotle. He founded around 20 cities, many named after himself, including Alexandria in Egypt. These cities became hubs of culture, commerce and learning, spreading Greek influence across his empire. He died in Babylon at the age of 32, under mysterious circumstances possibly due to illness or poisoning. On his deathbed, when asked who should be the ruler of the vast kingdom left behind, he said, the strongest, starting a 40-year war that fragmented Macedonian Empire. Alexander's legacy persisted long after his death. The Hellenistic period, characterized by the spread of Greek culture, owed much to his conquests and the cities he founded. His mind was amazing, his ideologies admirable, and his persona one to be studied thoroughly. But could his intellect and ideologies triumph in an age dominated by constant distractions? And if he could, what profession would suit him the most? Life in the modern era moves at an unprecedented pace, constant rush, higher goals and little free time. Alexander would be here on his own. As an overworker, overachiever, he would thrive. But then there is the other thing. Social media platforms, with their algorithms designed to captivate our attention, continuously bombard us with updates, opinions and trends, fostering a sense of urgency in our interactions and perceptions. Breaking news. 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 Information, once a treasure of knowledge, now presents a paradox an informational catastrophe. While we have access to an immense amount of information, distinguishing between reliable sources and misinformation has become increasingly challenging. Values have shifted, and the currency of acknowledgement has morphed into likes, shares, and viral content. In a landscape dominated by social validation and instant feedback, the pursuit of substance sometimes gives way to the quest for instant gratification, the importance of attention spans can overshadow the depth and authenticity of content. On first look a perfect environment for someone with a god complex like Alexander. But on second, there is a warped value system which would bring in question someone's sense of purpose and maybe put great minds like those of Alexander on a wrong path. And then you put his hedonistic way of living into the mix and you come to a conclusion that things are not so simple as they seem. Do you think that chase for instant gratification would turn Alexander away from his purpose? Share your opinion in the comments below. Alexander's hedonistic tendencies were well documented, raising questions about his ability to navigate today's world where everything is one tap away. 
he was known for indulging in feasts, parties, and luxury, often surrounding himself with opulence and excess. His encounters with excessive drinking and rash decision-making during certain periods also indicate that he would find certain struggles in today's world. On the other hand, he was also highly educated, had a deep interest in philosophy, and displayed exceptional military and strategic brilliance. His approach to governance, cultural assimilation, and his desire to create a unified empire were ambitious and forward-thinking for his time. While it's a constant struggle to keep your mind focused today, with proper guidance you can achieve it. Alexander had everything that you need to keep your mind in check. He understood philosophy and had a brilliant mind capable of overcoming any obstacle thrown at it. While he did enjoy life, he also knew what his purpose was. Striving for accomplishment of his goals was his God, his sense of being himself. Today, everyday struggle between purpose and instant gratification is a considerable one, and his mind would be at a constant battle with itself. But if anybody could prevail, it's Alexander III of Macedon, the greatest Alexander of them all. Assuming he does find success in overcoming today's biggest obstacles, his brilliant mind and hunger for greatness would set him on a path to a career choices a few men have tried themselves in. Based on his personal qualities, we comprised a list of the most likely professions he would excel at. In today's corporate world, Alexander the Great would embody the archetype of a global business leader. Alexander's ambition, risk-taking nature and leadership skills would make him a successful entrepreneur. His ability to inspire loyalty could translate into effective team leadership. His visionary approach would be unparalleled, adeptness at forging partnerships across diverse cultures and strategic mind would mark him as a standout figure in the business world. His exceptional military tactics and strategic thinking could translate well into roles within defense or security strategy, analyzing geopolitical situations or even consulting for military organizations. This is where we have the most data to compare. He was an amazing military strategist, never lost a single battle in his life. His courage and visionary mind would allow him to outthink almost everybody and his wisdom would only become bigger with age. Visionary leadership. His ability to envision grand projects and unite diverse cultures might aid in global diplomacy and international relations. Strategic brilliance. His strategic insights and ability to navigate complex geopolitical landscapes could prove beneficial in shaping national policies. Cultural bridge builder. As a cultural ambassador, he might foster cross-cultural understanding, promoting inclusivity and diversity within the nation and in global affairs. His charisma and ability to captivate people might lead him into roles within media, where he could engage and influence a wide audience perhaps as a speaker or content creator. In wondering about Alexander's place in today's world, we're torn between awe and uncertainty. He was a genius, a visionary leader who conquered vast lands. But today's world is so different, fast-paced, full of new values and technologies. Would Alexander thrive in our world? It's hard to say. His legacy is like a puzzle, intriguing and inspiring. Exploring his potential in our time, is a way to honor his incredible mind that still captivates us today. And if you liked today's video, be free to subscribe to our channel, where more content like this is yet to come.